Lane Prairie, we just got a couple of quick announcements, and I'm going to throw it over to Washer in just a second. But coming up on the kids, this Saturday, April the 8th at 10 o'clock in the morning, we are doing our annual Easter egg hunt. And so if you want to come, if you don't even have kids, we would love for you to volunteer, come love on some of these kids, come, come uh, share the gospel with some people who are visiting. And uh, we would just love for you to be here. That is this Saturday at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's, it usually goes about two hours, so we end around 12. Uh, but if you could please park on the west side by the main sanctuary, uh, that would help out uh, tremendously because we're going to have the uh, the egg hunts around the uh, east side by the youth room and by the uh, children's foyer. And so uh, that is again this Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we would love for you to be here. And then coming up uh, and the end of May, May 21st, we're going to be having our annual uh, Awana banquet. And so if you have kids in the, in the Awana program we have here at Lane Prairie every Wednesday night, we do one at 630. And so if you have kids within that program, there will be a QR code in your bulletin this Sunday and a couple more weeks. Would you please fill out that form so I know how much food to buy? for that banquet. And it, even if you don't have kids within the, the Awana program and you want to just come and love on these kids because they've been doing an amazing job. They've started Awanas in August. We start at the beginning of the school year and we end at the end of the school year. They've done amazing uh, with memorizing verses, going through Bible lessons from three-year-olds all the way up to sixth grade. And so they've been just doing an, a fantastic job and I'm so proud of them and we're going to give them awards for all their hard work. And so if you want to just come, love on them, Will you also please fill out that form as well so I know how much food extra I should bring? And then coming up for us, which is our biggest event for kids, it's VBS. We're looking to project over 250 kids this year. We had just shy of 200 last year, and so we have a lot of kids coming, and I need a lot of volunteers. Whether you want to volunteer from being a teacher, an assistant teacher, or just checking kids in in the morning and bringing them to classes, I would love to. For you to help out. So please pray about uh, helping out this year at VBS. I know we've already got some people who are going to volunteer, but we need more help. And so uh, would you please reach out to myself or one of our staff members, and, and we would love to get you into one of those spots uh, available. And so I would just love for you to help out this year for VBS. These kids, they come and we share, we love on them, we share the gospel with them every single day, and we see kids saved through Vacation Bible School. And so would you please pray about volunteering this year and please reach out to one of us so we can get you one of those spots. Other than that, I'm going to throw it over to Washer and he's got a couple more things. All right, everybody, let's try this one more time. Y'all have no idea how many takes it takes to get to one of these done. So I got two announcements for you. All right, first one is to remind you about our Annie, Arms Annie Armstrong Easter offering. And so this year we set a goal of $11,000 and you guys are well on your way to making that happen. And so right now we're sitting at $6,318. That means we're just a little shy of $5,000 to meet our goal this year. I'm sure we're going to surpass it. Thank you so much for giving. If you haven't already given, please pray about it. See what the Lord would lay on your heart and then be obedient. Uh, next, just a reminder about our mission trip to Logan, Utah and Rigby, Idaho. <coughs> uh, we are still in need of one more man. We need one man to volunteer to be on our Logan side. That's the door-to-door -door campaign where we're going to be going out and collecting information for one of our North American missionaries. For one of our North American uh, missionaries and uh, collecting information for him so that he can do his job a little better, know how to uh, uh, work in his community uh, in a relevant way. And of course, like we always do, we'll be sharing the gospel. And so uh, if you're interest, interested in that, please fill out the form below. Let me know if the funding is an issue. Guys, we have scholarships available. Please just come and talk to me. Don't let that be something that holds you back. We want to invite everybody out to this Sunday morning. We're going to be celebrating that our Savior is risen. He died for our sins and he rose again to prove that he was God and to prove that he has the power to give us new life, eternal life. And so if you are able and your vehicle is able, would you can please consider parking out in the grass? That way we open up some of those spots in the parking lot for those of us who are uh, bringing in visitors and for those who uh, aren't able to walk large, large distances. And so, okay, final shot. So have a good week.